right, sorry about that. A little bit late, running, running literally from the grocery store. Whoa. So, you know how those people are at the grocery store, they like to talk. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to talk to you, uh, Thirsty Thursday. Uh, do you ever have that feeling of being so thirsty, right, that, um, you know, say if you're going in for a procedure and they tell you don't drink anything after midnight, the next day you wake up so thirsty. Of course, that's what you're thinking about, but like you are 10 times thirstier. Or say you've been out um, or at the gym and forget your water bottle or working out or go on a hike and realize, shoot, I don't have any water. Super thirsty, right? So I've had a few people ask how my hair is not falling out which doesn't seem like it should be related, but actually it is because I think your hair is thirsty. My, I know my hair gets thirsty, real thirsty. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you my secret today. So, <laughs> all right, so three things to hydrate your hair are going to, um, and to keep it from like splitting off, right? So you have hair and then you don't want it to split off like that. So we're going to talk about building a healthy relationship between you and your hair. All right. So, all right. Let me get my prop over here. Okay. So hair is three layers and it's made up of 25% water. 25%. So what happens when your water is evaporating from your hair strand? It gets dry and then it splits, right? So, how can we prevent that from happening? First thing is a heat protector, okay? What you want to do is after you get out of the shower, washing your hair, whatever, spray this on before you do any thermal products. So that would be your curling iron, your flat iron, and uh, your blow dryer. Anything that's going to put heat to your hair, put this on to protect your hair. So it... If you think about it, it'll evaporate this before it will the, the water in your hair strand, okay? This is going to keep your hair hydrated. It's like chapstick for your hair. So then, what you want to do is, I can tell you this is my number one reason why my hair does not fall out, is uh, I use a neutralizing shampoo. You don't have to use this one, but I would recommend if you are very hard on your hair with chemicals, and that could be um, even just swimming in the pool, um, chemicals being hair color, um, bleach, anything like that. So what I do is I shampoo with this neutralizing shampoo about three times a week, and I also mix it in with my bleach. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. This is literally for 20... Uh, about 25 years I've colored my hair every week and I use this and this is really why my hair doesn't fall out. It's going to neutralize the pH and put the balance right back into your hair. So what happens is when you are chemically changing your hair, this is going to put the, the good stuff back in your hair to keep it healthy. Okay. Last thing is you are what you eat and drink. Okay, anything that you put in your body has the potential to come back out in some sort of way. Okay, that's like passing through or like through your sweat. So why do you think when you go to work in a new place, some places require a hair drug screen, right, for your employment? So if they're going to hire you, what's in your hair strand? Hmm? Hmm? Of course, mine would get like, <laughs> they probably have to test it 4,200 times to get through all the hair color. <laughs> So, if you think about it, you know, when you're stressed out and you um, say, you know, you have um, hormones coming out of your skin, toxins coming out of your skin, they also come out of your scalp, so it affects your hair, too. So, if you are also dehydrated, that can affect your hair growth and the health of it. So, what I would suggest is drinking more water. What you're putting in your body also affects your hair, okay? So... Um, and yes, so you want to stay hydrated. So, um, plus you need water to survive. Why would you think your water wouldn't need, or your hair wouldn't need water anyway? So you're going to give the water supply from the inside 
and fix it from the outside. So those three things. So you're going to use uh, thermal protectant. Now, also, like if I'm if my hair is already dry and I'm going out to say mow the lawn, I just put a spritz of this on so it'll it'll cut through this. It's like sunscreen, but for your hair. Okay. I don't think you want to put sunscreen on your hair. You can, but it's real lotion-y. Oh, okay. So use your spritz, thermal protector, heat protector. Number two, neutralizing shampoo. You don't have to use this one. If you can't find it, ask the, the person that works there. And um, sometimes you'll find it over in the uh, ethnic hair products. That's usually where I have to find this one. It's a great one. I love it. It's super thick. And I've used it for, well, shoot, long, long time long time actually in this bottle not this one but the bottle I just replaced this bottle it probably lasted me mm, a long time like five years maybe I don't know it seems like I don't use a lot you don't want to use a lot you like just use need to use like a dime quarter nickel shape size you know like this much <laughs> And then water. Make sure you stay hydrated, okay? That also helps with your brain function and your hair growth and the health of your hair. So, thanks for being here. I appreciate you. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. And I got to, uh, speaking of water, I need to take a rest of the room. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>